he's met all my friends and everything. Yeah, she was taking me out and showing me good restaurants and all her friends. Very cool, you know what I'm saying? The, the first weekend he was here, I was like, you've made me the most popular person in Austin. Because all these people had called and asked if he wanted to come over for dinner. Yeah, she wanted me to relax and, you know, take a couple days after all I've been through. But then I needed to focus on working and getting stuff together. I learned a lot about New Orleans from Jermaine. I had no idea that New Orleans was as corrupt as it was. I've also learned about the way that the entire system is kind of neatly interlocked to work against one man. One thing that Jermaine told me the first night he was here, and I found this so weird, but he told me that when he got to the New Orleans Convention Center, there were all these people standing outside of all races. And then when they got inside, the authorities separated everybody by race. Yeah, like, put the Vietnamese over here and the, and the blacks over there. He was saying, why didn't they just separate everybody by neighborhoods? Because then at least you'd be able to see the people you knew and were familiar with. Yeah, it'd be a community thing. You know, we've learned so much from each other in the short time that we've known each other. Three weeks. We obviously come from completely different backgrounds, but there are a lot of similarities in the way that we grew up. I mean, on a higher level, you know, we can talk about politics and about how he could make a change in his community. Yeah, and we talk about just being in New Orleans, the politics in the state, and just how living there could be all kinds of crazy. It's odd because I've lived alone now for a number of years, and usually when somebody's visiting me, I get a little uncomfortable after a few days just because I need my space. You know the three-day rule? Visitors are like fish. They start stinking after three days. <laughs> But it hasn't been that way at all. I think we're friends for life. Yeah, same here. Living here has been great. I mean, back in New Orleans, it just felt like nobody was coming to help us. 